Hey everyone, so have you noticed how we've all been trying to escape the chaos of the digital age? It's like we're dodging pop-up ads, social dramas, and email notifications like Neo dodging bullets in the Matrix. And in this quest for digital zen, we've stumbled upon something magical, something revolutionary. Lo-fi music channels. Yes, folks, the sound of someone who couldn't quite tune their radio has become our sanctuary. You know, there's something hilariously ironic about us tuning into music that's basically the audio equivalent of a scratched DVD. We're there, headphones on, listening to beats filled with more crackles and pops than a bowl of Rice Krispies. It's like our brains are saying, Ah, yes, this distorted guitar loop that sounds like it's underwater is exactly what I needed to concentrate. Remember when we all wanted crystal clear sound? Now, we're scrolling through playlists for tracks that sound like they were recorded on a Nokia phone in a blender. It's like we've all collectively decided, you know what's missing from my life? The hiss of a cassette tape that's been left in the sun too long. There's a fine line between vintage vibe and my speaker's broken. And I'm pretty sure lo-fi music dances on that line wearing tap shoes. We're out here romanticizing the sound of internet dial-up as if it's the height of musical achievement. Ah, remember the days when music sounded like it was coming through a phone line? Bliss! Lo-fi channels always have titles like Beats to Study Slash Relax To. I think they should be more honest, like Beats to Realize You've Been Reading the Same Paragraph for an Hour To. It's the perfect background music for when you want to feel productive, but actually just end up staring out the window contemplating existence. Have you noticed how lo-fi has become a lifestyle? Suddenly, it's cool to wear clothes that look like they've been washed with rocks, and drinking coffee that tastes like it was brewed in a sock. If lo-fi music were a clothing brand, it'd be garage sale glamour. Perfect for that I put effort into looking like I didn't try look. Ever dive into how lo-fi music is made? It's like a master class in enjoying every error. Picture this, a cluttered bedroom, a laptop older than some of its listeners, and a microphone that's seen better days. The artist hits record, and suddenly, the neighbor's lawnmower becomes part of the track. It's not a bug, folks. It's a feature. That's not noise. It's ambiance. Have you ever got lost in a lo-fi track and wondered, Have I heard this loop before? Or am I in a time warp? Hours pass. Seasons change. Civilizations rise and fall, and there you are, still nodding your head to the same beat. It's the musical equivalent of Groundhog Day, but somehow it's exactly what we need to focus. Lo-fi music sells us this dream of ultimate productivity. Listen to this, and you'll become a Zen master, with the focus of a laser, it promises. So you play it, ready to conquer the world, only to find yourself, an hour later, 
deeply engrossed in organizing your pen collection by color. Not a single task done. It's the soundtrack of procrastination. Yet somehow, we keep coming back for more. Let's talk about the unsung heroes of lo-fi streams. The animated animals. A raccoon studying for finals. A cat lost in a book. Or a lo-fi chill-hop rabbit. It's like we've collectively decided... Yes, this cartoon animal is my spirit animal. It understands my struggle. These critters are living their best lives, unaffected by the chaos of the world. And all they ask is that we chill with them. And then there's lo-fi love songs. Nothing says, I love you. Like a beat that sounds like it was recorded on a flip phone. It's like telling your significant other, Baby, our love is like this track, perfect in its imperfections, timeless in its ephemeral loops. Let's hold hands and gaze into the static together. It's romance for the digital age, folks. So as we navigate the chaos of the digital world, let's embrace the imperfections, the crackles, and the pops. If lo-fi music isn't just a trend, it's a reminder that sometimes the best way to find peace is to tune into the static. And if anyone asks why you're listening to music that sounds like it's being played on a toaster, just tell them you're too zen to explain. Thanks, everyone. Remember, life's too short for HD clarity. Go lo-fi.